So the arts are, are a huge part of the hotel. And that was all started by Chuck and Deborah Royce, who are the major investors for the re rebuild of the Ocean House. 10 years ago, about 15 years ago, the hotel was taken down. Um, it didn't, it violated every single um, fire code there was, being that it was built in the mid 1800s and um, had gone into a bit of disrepair. So they were going to take down the building and sell off the five acres, five building lots. And they chose not to do so um, because the Royces and several other uh, local families and homes decided to purchase the building, take it down and rebuild it. And when they did that, they saved every part they could, including the stone fireplace was dissembled and numbered and stored away for five years, every rock in the fireplace the lighting, light fixtures, the original elevator from the 1800s, the original phone booth, they're still here. They were placed back into the hotel, lovingly restored. And um, so it features almost everything they possibly could save they did. So um, the art experience at the Ocean House um, is multifaceted, thank goodness to Chuck and Deborah Royce. They, um, they love the arts. They started a permanent art collection here with over 250 pieces of work to, to be displayed on the walls um, for everyone to enjoy, even though they're the personal ownership. That's one part of our art here, which we've created an audio tour, a self-guided audio tour where people can take up and pick up an, a sanitized audio device and listen to their actual voices of the Royces. <laughs> um, speak about how they collected the art, why they did, why they chose what they did. And um, so that's exciting. It's about a one hour tour and it's available to anyone. The other part is there's been um, an artist in residence where we invite an artist, artisan, actually more of a craftsperson to come in and stay at the hotel for, for a long weekend and teach their craft to people that would want to learn about it. And um, they also have uh, lecture series and many of these events are complimentary to the public and all of them are accessible by signing up obviously because we have to number the amount of people for every event due to COVID um, at oceanhouseevents.com. The other portion of it is our we plein air series in the summer we have actual painters come and these painters are often from the chosen galleries that are here at the Ocean House. We currently have a rotating gallery season of every four months. Um, traditionally, we have a Russell Genitian gallery. He was from Fairfield, now Stonington, Connecticut, and he does um, fine marine art, which is very suitable to the Ocean House being that we're right on the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, then we also have the Lily Pad Gallery, which is right here in Watch Hill. And she also features many um, water scenes. So my choice for another, a new gallery to come into the, we had um, the Mystic Seaport Music Museum Gallery was here. Unfortunately, they've closed their doors. And um, so that opened up our winter months for gallery show. And I really, really try to get in Rhode Island artists and Rhode Island galleries as much as I possibly can, just like the restaurants here source all their food as much as they can locally. So um, I had been to Block Island pretty much my whole life. Years ago, I met Jessie Edwards. Uh, I went into her gallery, I was very excited about her own mono prints and how she reprinted them. And she shared with me where she had them reprinted in Rhode Island at a beautiful printing facility in East Greenwich. And um, I, I actually used that, that same place she had mentioned to me years ago. So when I was looking at galleries, I thought, well, what galleries are around that might like the exposure in the winter months that may not have as much exposure this time of the year? And that's where it came to mind that I might reach out to her and see if she had some artists and, and her work is beautiful, that all her artists that she has is the same theme. It's ocean and waves and... Um, and, and then of course we have seasonal art as well. And being that this is, we're February going into March, I like to promote spring and it's always nice for people to see. So our show is a combination of beautiful landscapes and seascapes and the landscapes are more spring-like, less winter. This is what everybody's looking forward to. And it lightens up the halls, um, the public spaces of the hotel. The guests and the people that live here, there are many uh, condominiums here that people have ownership 
are thrilled to see the shells change. It's like someone changing their jewelry or their shoes. They could wear the same black dress, but you just switch it with a different scarf or a tie for a gentleman. And it changes the look. It gives a new vibe. And they they love it, enjoy it. And um, you know, so we 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 love seeing it. And it's a, it's an exciting day. The day where we get to hang and change and share the gallery spaces with the world. I was able to target each piece and I already had in mind where each one was going to go. There's some darker spaces that need a bright, fun painting. Like there's a, the small one of the smaller paintings is a little bit of a uh, vase of yellow roses by Marilyn Bogdanfey. It's a little nook in the, in the hallway, but it, we put installed a light over it and it just pops the entire space is brilliant with the yellow and the black and the doors are actually yellow and brass or black with brass handles. It all coordinates. And then some of the other paintings and I, what I've been sharing with um, some of the staff here before even the public gets to see it, it's, there's a true love story going on here with this collection. And I'm not sure if you're familiar about the love story, but the woman I just mentioned, Marilyn Bogdanfey, is um, married to Peter Gish. And Peter Gish, I've been a longtime fan of. I met him in Rhode Island years ago, and he lives on Block Island, I think, or he was in Saunders Town, but he, he, all of his um, paintings are of Block Island and the cliffs and the ocean. And he's just fun and colorful and not afraid to use color and make it bright and happy and exciting and lots of movement and it turns out that this other featured artist Marilyn and he were married just I believe a year ago and they are both having birthdays in a few weeks in March and she will be turning 90 and he will be turning 95 and there they are exciting paintings with this beautiful love story opposing walls in the hallways of the ocean house. It's, it, it's, it's fun. It makes for a story when guests walk by, when I share it with our staff and they're walking guests to their, uh, their rooms or the, or, the, or the restaurant, they hear a little pieces of these stories and they absolutely love it because then they engage with the piece. Then the, everybody loves a story. And then we have these gouache paintings by Elizabeth Pennell and um, another artist who actually painted the interior of the ocean house, the original ocean house, and she shipped it because she knew that she was going to be hanging here. And it's a fabulous, it's opposite the original phone booth. So we have two pieces of the old hotel that appear um, side by side. I could probably walk you into the hall if you'd like to see some of them. But right outside of this room that I'm in is a deck overlooking the ocean. And it's foggy, but normally you would see Block Island right there. And when Jessie arrived to the hotel, she was escorted out on this deck to see how close Block Island is to the ocean house, so you're, you know, southeast facing straight over that gorgeous island. So take a little tour. And actually, one of the most exciting paintings is right outside of this club room, which you can see is beautiful varnished wood everywhere, like the interior of a yacht, which it was intended to be. As um, Marilyn Bogdan, they needed this beautiful painting. There's a restaurant on Block Island called The Ore. And we have this very large three by four foot painting of the oars. And down the foyer here, we have some ocean paintings. And these are some seascapes. Yes. This is the beautiful roses I had mentioned glowing in this little foyer. And then this is another Peter Kish painting. And then you can see down here, we have a model, which is how the guests find the entrance down to the spa. This is um, Bob Dampy. An opposite wall is her husband, Peter Gish. Another beautiful ocean scene. And interesting enough, the ocean scenes lead to a stairwell to the spa, which is covered with ocean liners. So it's all sort of the same theme. Our theme here at the hotel, especially in the winter months, is that when someone comes here, it's like a cruise ship. They can do pretty much everything. We have culinary classes and wine tastings. 
We have these art programs, we have movie theater, we have a scavenger hunt for children, which is another artistic adva uh, adventure. They find little painted scenes in some of the um, elevators and floors. They'll see little dollar, dollar bills. And let's see where else we have. This is um, another beautiful painting by a Black Island artist. This is Tom Martinelli, very large painting. He's a Newport artist that is featured in Block Island as well. That's oil and wax. It has a very 3D effect. So it's a fun place to be with all the arts, food, dining, um, drinks, scavenger hunts, um, painting classes, and lots of excitement. 